Hey guys, today what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a super quick and easy makeup tutorial for like camping um, or just going out doing something really quickly. Uh, so this is something that I like to use during the summertime just because it does have um, more sunscreen in the foundation than a lot of your other normal sunscreens do. Um, and it's always hot where I am, but I'm always camping during the summer as well, or going on Jeep trips, or just out and about in the woods. So this is just something quick and simple where I have found so that I have sunscreen on my face, but it's not just normal, regular sunscreen, and I can actually still kind of look a little bit more feminine than just how I look right now, all natural and glorious. Um, so this is super quick. Um, so it, I think I use, let's see, one, two, three, four. I use about four products. So about four products. You can always use more. You can always use less. Whatever um, you need to do. One, two, three. Five products, actually. I use five products. Um, you can use four. So one of the things is I've, um, you can actually get this on Amazon, which is pretty freaking cool. So it is Beauty by Earth. It is a tinted facial sunscreen with cover and protectant. So it's SPF 20. I am a redhead. I am white or I'm always red in the face. Um, so this one I really like because I don't have to actually put, you know, regular sunscreen on and then put a foundation on, um, which I think most... Sun, most facial creams or um, foundations, I think most of them have some type of um, SPF in them, but most of the time not. So when I wear a regular foundation, um, I feel like I either have to put sunscreen on before or I have to completely forego any makeup at all. So that's pretty cool about finding this. Right here, Beauty by Earth. And I've tried other tinted ones. I've had friends who have used the, the tinted um, foundations and they don't really work as well. Um, but this one I do because I am so white. This one here is natural beige. So this one actually comes out already tinted. So it's not white like the other ones are. And this one, I think I used a little too much. But, and this kind of goes a long ways. Um, I've actually found that this type actually you don't need as much. It does feel like you're putting sunscreen on your face, which isn't fun sometimes. You know how it gets super oily. Um, and you just don't like it. It makes your face break out. This one, it kind of does at the beginning. That's why you use a little and it goes a long ways. Um, but it's super nice. And once it's actually on, it's not as oily um, or clammy as it normally, as you normally would think of this. And just spread it all over your face. The one thing that's nice about this is you can actually get your ears too. It kind of blends in. And if you watch any of my other makeup tutorial videos, um, you'll see that I do like to do my ears or at least like back here behind and over kind of around my piercing to and then push it into your hairline. Just so that way if you do accidentally get a shade too dark um, or too light or anything, it kind of blends in a lot better. I don't think better is really a word, but it blends in better. And I always just use my hands on this one. I feel like it works it, and it doesn't get my brushes as clammy. So as you can tell now, I have some color. You know, I'm not as red, but I'm also not as dark as I normally would be with probably regular foundation. 
So the one thing I like about this one too is you don't have to use a primer. You don't have to put any priming lotion on. You don't have to put anything else on. It's just this on my face, like literally. Um, so the next thing is sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It just kind of depends on what I am doing that day. If I'm out camping, I straight will just put that on, put mascara on, put some, you know, powder kind of on a little bit and some bronzer and that's it. Sometimes I won't even put the bronzer on. Sometimes I just literally put this on because it has SPF 20. But for today, I am going to put on some concealer on. So I'm not really good about my concealer very well. So this is just, and it sucks because I broke it when I bought it. But this is just the Wet n Wild Dual Ended Contouring Stick. So it has the other side. That is the brown side. But I don't use that with this. I just, I don't like it that well when I use this one. Um, and that takes a lot longer. Whereas I can just put this on. And I use my hands a lot during when I'm camping um, or out and about. I'm not going to try and, you know, pack a whole bunch of brushes, pack a whole bunch of makeup. Or, you know, when I'm going quick and easy. Um, it's just personal preference and also a lot of the time I'm just using my phone as a mirror or actually I've gotten so well at this um, I do it pretty much my eyes closed so the next thing we're gonna do is I like this one is by it's by Mac it's studio studio fix it, it is a little bit more on the expensive side but I don't use it very often a lot of the times um, I do use um, some other setting powders, but this one is because I'm doing it kind of an all over, like quick and easy. I'm not doing the contouring. I don't got to worry about setting underneath the eyes compared to the difference of my cheeks and everything. So I'm just putting just literally on everywhere. And then this one is N4. And I know a lot of MAC products actually do have sunscreen in them, even their powders. I'm not 100% sure if this is one of them. I have seen some other powders that they have come out with that actually have some SPF in them. Alright. So the next one we're going to do is I'm going to put some bronzer. Sometimes I don't. I, I totally am down to go out just like this. It's, I have enough different colors in my skin as it is that I don't feel like a lot of the time I do need bronzer. I am going to put the bronzer on today though, but you don't have to. So you can kind of just go with it like this. Or you can put other stuff on you kind of switch it up a little bit depending on how, your personal preferences so I am using the naked decay or urban decay naked illuminate trio so the bronzer illuminator and a blush and I'm just I do my cheekbones and kind of work my way up on mine. And then I'll put a little bit around my nose and I like it underneath my chin. That's my personal preference underneath my chin. Um, there are people who do it, it all the way here, but I'm not contouring and I have such a straight jawline as it is that I don't like to take away from that already. So, I'm actually going to use today the next and last step. So, really, you can do this in like five minutes. Um, I've talked a lot, so it's going to be a little bit longer than 10 minutes of getting ready, but you can do it in 10 minutes. This one here is Maybelline. If you realize, I probably use a lot of Maybelline products, um, and it's just Big Shot. Just put it on.
Alrighty. So there you go. You get ready in about five minutes with this and totally coverage your face. Um, I'm not doing my eyebrows. I normally don't. Sometimes I do. But that's more when I'm doing something glamorous or wanting to really fully get ready. But I'm not going to do that while you're camping. Um, and then there you go. And your face has sunscreen on it all day. Um, you can always... Um, just reapply it. You can always just use this and not use any powder. Um, that way you can kind of put more on later if you need to. Um, I don't recommend it really a lot just because then you do you will get that, you know, thick, thicker foundation looking thing. And it doesn't feel as well as it normally would. But if in the beginning of the video I talked about how it's normally super sticky um, and it does feel like sunscreen when you're putting it on. But like it, there's no stickiness now. There's it feels light. Um, I feel like I actually have less makeup on than I normally would if I was getting glamorous and putting actual like real foundation on or anything like that. I don't I it's it's light. I have three things on my four things on my face. You know, I have the foundation, the bronzer, the uh, powder, and then a little bit of concealer in my eyes just because I have some, a lot of freckles and bags. So, hope you like my video. Subscribe. Thanks.